Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can collide our headset with something and fade to black and also collide our headset with something and then have it teleport us back to a safe location. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out, you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. Again, we're using the scene that we were working in when we were building the teleporter. So if you haven't seen that video, please check the link in the description down below. And what we're going to do is first of all, include another Tilia package, which will allow the collision fading when we collide our headset with one of these objects. So we'll just go and get that with the Tilia package importer. So go to window, Tilia, package importer, and then we just need to find the collision fader. So that will be near the bottom in visuals collision fader. And again, we just add this to our project. And when that's added, we can close the package importer down again. And we just need to add the collision fader prefab to our scene. Again, just right click in hierarchy, Tilia, prefabs, in visuals collision fader. And we want the visuals collision fader prefab, which then gets added to our scene. We need to set up some of the facade settings on the collision fader such as the source and the camera validity. The source is what this collider will follow around. We want it to follow our headset. So to do that, we'll just expand attract alias, aliases, and we're going to use the headset alias for the source. And then we need to tell it which cameras we want it to fade. And again, we can just use attract alias scene cameras. The next thing I'm going to do is change the size of the collider so it's smaller and is more appropriate to the size of our headset. So I'm just going to click show collider container. That will take me to the correct game object underneath. And we're going to change the sphere collider radius down to 0.15. This is a more appropriate size for the headset so it won't be colliding when your head isn't actually going through something. So now with that set up, if we were to put our head inside something, what would happen is the camera would fade and it would stay faded until we moved our head out of that colliding object which is good, but we want to take it a step further and say, if we've kept our head inside an object too long, we actually want to teleport the player back to a safe location. So let's set up a basic game object that we can use as our safe location. So we just need to create a new empty game object and we'll call this respawn point. And then we just need to set the position of where we want this point to be. So I'm just going to set this to zero, zero, zero. And that will mean when we teleport back to this respawn point, we will be back at 000 in our scene, which I know is a safe location. So now all we need to do on our collision fader is set up a timer that will say if we have collided for so many seconds, then to use the teleporter to put us back to that respawn point. We can do that easily by adding a new component and adding the countdown timer. And then we can decide how long we want to keep our head in something before we teleport. So I'm going to change this to two seconds. And now all we need to do is on our collision fader facade in the fading events, when the headset fades, we want to start this countdown timer. And if it unfades, so we've moved our head out before the timer is finished, we want to cancel the countdown timer so it doesn't still teleport us. So all we need to do is add a listener on faded and put the countdown timer in there. And then on the countdown timer, we just need to call begin. And then in unfaded again, add another listener, put the countdown timer in there and then select countdown timer and cancel. This will then, as I say, begin it when we fade and cancel it if we unfade. Finally, we need to make sure that when the countdown timer has completed, so if we've kept our head in the object for more than two seconds, what it will do is that countdown timer will complete. So we want to teleport. So again, we're just going to add a listener to completed. And then we're going to use our teleporter game object in there. And then we're going to call the teleporter facade. And now we can't use the dynamic one, but we can use one of these manual ones. So we can pick either game object or transform. We'll go with transform. And then the transform we want to set here is our respawn point. So grab, drag and drop. So that's it. We've now set it up. So if our headset collides with something for more than two seconds, it'll initially fade. And then after two seconds, it will teleport us back to that safe zone. So let's jump in the scene and see that working. So now we're in the scene, as you can see, if I teleport over to this large green cylinder and get a bit closer, if I now put my head into the cylinder, the screen will fade. If I remove it, it will unfade. However, if I keep it in there for more than two seconds, our countdown timer will run 
and we'll teleport back to our original safe location. So one, two, and there you see we've teleported back to our safe location. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, likes, dislikes, comments down below, and please consider becoming a VRTK patron as that really helps. Thanks for watching and bye for now.